Cool, thanks a lot. Uh, so let me tackle the first one, which is pretty easy. At what age can I start buying? Um, look, uh, I, I started buying properties uh, in my early 30s, and um, it was just by default that I needed somewhere to stay, right? But because I'm an investor, I'm going to answer that question from an investment perspective, right? What is the right time for you to be starting saving or making sure that your future is good? I think the time is now, right? Um, so at whatever age that you are in, uh, I'm of the view that you already need to start now. Um, if I look at it, um, I've got one of my niece, she is 21, she's just started off a new job. Uh, and I have, I've been in, uh, of a great advocate to say, look, you, you're getting paid X and you qualify maybe for 200,000, start now, right? So there is no right or wrong time. It's about you, what is it that you're wanting for your journey? Uh, and if you have missed 21, that's okay too. You can start it wherever you are. You know, that's, that's what I would say. The earlier you start, I'm always kicking myself in the bum that, you know, I started much later. The earlier you start, the easier it, it becomes easier for you, actually, because now what you've just done is you've created uh, this big pocket for you into the future. For instance, if you are buying, let's say, using debt, using money from the bank, as Christian has uh, it's just suggested here, it basically means that your, that debt, by the time you get to 40, giving the example of my niece here who's 21, by the time you are 40, that property is paid up and you can do whatever you want to do. In 10 years time, you've got 50% of the equity on that property and it is appreciated. So by the time you get to 30, there's quite a lot that you can do with that. Um, so that's, that's the first answer there. The second question, which was your first question, uh, Ezra, uh, is what are the terms that are out there for, for real estate? Wow, there's so many of them. <laughs> there's so many of them. Um, I think the way I would like to answer this question is that whenever you are meeting a Fazila, right, she is going to give you what is called an offer to purchase. That's the first thing. You need to read that offer to purchase. If you're not so clear about it, ask a, a person like Fazila, what does this mean? If, if, if I don't do this, what does that mean? So find the pros and the cons of all of this that the offer to purchase is talking about. Then the second part to that is, we want to include, Fazila spoke about conditions, special conditions that you can include. Obviously in that document, they are not there. You as the person who's buying needs to put in those conditions. And again, there's a, we can start today and ride to Cape Town and come back and still talk about special conditions. They are very property specific. Uh, for me as an investor, I would want to put in things that protect me as an investor. If I get money, if I don't get money, I, I want the seller to do something I don't want. So the first point really that I would say people need to do is get educated. If you get educated, you now know all these special conditions. You now know all these terms that comes with it. You're going into the game knowing exactly how does what term apply to me? How can I use it to my advantage or to my, or, or how does it work in my disadvantage? What's going to happen? So always making sure that you're working within your parameters so that at any given time you're protected because the offer to purchase is very, um, most offer to purchases are uh, kind of like supporting both sides, but you can craft it so that it supports your side. Um, and it allows you to do that. So the terms, the, there's quite a lot of them. Uh, I, I don't think that we have enough time for us to actually to cover it, but you know, there's, you, you've got some education that you've given in in a, in a book. Anton has a school. Um, there's a whole lot of information that is online. Uh, I think where I'm going to press on is to say, educate yourself so that you know these terms and you're comfortable with them. And if you're not, ask the questions. There's so many platforms out there where you can ask those questions and it can be addressed. Um, yeah.